Well, joining us now, Stephen Saad, the CEO of Aspen Pharmacare on the line. Stephen, thanks very much to borrow from the U.S. president. Do you think that we will ever see the likes of Nelson Mandela again? You never say never, but uh, what we should really be is grateful that we actually had the chance to meet someone like this, and particularly to have someone like this in our country to give us this guidance, to to just create harmony. You know, there was this was this was a key message, I think, and it's a critical message for all South Africans uh, to take out of it. And um, Stephen, in some ways, uh, when you founded uh, your, your pharma care business, uh, you evoked the spirit of Nelson Mandela and the fact that you went into the townships and you saw a market and business that other people, because of maybe prejudice at the time, um, didn't see. And it, it made you a, a very successful multimillionaire. I mean, do, do you think that there's any kind of um, synergy there with the, the great man himself? There is, you know, there is, because if you have a look, you're quite right about where we started. And it's even the way we've conducted ourselves in terms of, you know, the, 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 whole, the whole dealings with government and the private sector are always fraught with such acrimony and such suspicion. And, you know, we've learned, you know, that nothing is done without positive engagement. Everyone's trying to do the right thing, but everyone's suspicious. So we've tried, I mean, it's from those early days of going into the townships, we've tried as a company to, to build and build relationships between government and the private sector. And on, on uh, President Mandela himself, you know, we, my first meeting with him was at an Inkobo clinic that we built in the middle of the Transca. And it was at the time that ARVs were not being supplied and they were far too expensive. Uh, and we couldn't get into the market because they were, they were, they were patent protected. And I took, a, I took the opening of this clinic and the video uh, with the president and the Aspen team and all those people in the middle of rural Transca. And I used to, took it to all the big multinationals. I took it to Germany. I took it to the U.S., took it to the U.K. And I said, these are the people that require antiretrovirals, and they cannot afford $10 a day and $100 a day. And it was really through, you know, people seeing the president's message, Mandela's message, his compassion, and seeing those people out there that we were able to get voluntary licenses for ARVs. It was one of the key drivers because you can talk and send notes, but when you talk about patents with big companies, it was such a big issue. But when we showed the video and they saw President Mandela, almost without fail, every multinational at some point subsequently gave us some access to that patent protected property. Stephen, so many of our guests today have shared special moments, special memories and taken us on the most amazing journey on the life and times of Nelson Mandela. Care to add one of your special moments? Sorry, I think what was the special moment? Well, I'm saying so many of our guests have yes. shared wonderful memories and special moments that they've had, personal moments with the great man. Is there anything that you'd care to share with us before we leave it? Yes, um, he, uh, he invited me to, to lunch uh, in, his, in his home in, uh, in Houghton at the time. And he took me through, he made the mo a story around Burundi, he took me through the whole story and how it went through, and I just sat there in awe and wonderment. The amount of detail, the amount of time he took, the amount, the amount of personal interest in the people and what he did. It was the longest story, and I can't even quite remember what it was, but it, all, that, all I took out of it was the incredible depth and sincerity he put into everything. It could have been the leader from Burundi, wherever it was. He had time for everyone and everything, no matter who you were, where you were. It was, a, it was just an abiding memory of just real care uh, and compassion for whoever sat opposite of him, enjoyed his attention, and enjoyed it to the fullest. There was nothing flippant there. Sure. That was the man from Presidents to Children in the Street, Nelson Mandela. That was the insight from Stephen Saad, CEO of Aspen Pharmacare.